This is actually my favorite part of summer. <laughs> He's my good girl. Are you so good? That's my good bear. Say hi, Sadie. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fit Curls. My name is Angela, I'm a fitness professional and a curly hair enthusiast, and I use this channel to teach you how to keep your curls in shape. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you don't miss a single thing. Now today, we are talking about Fit Curls' favorite things! Which basically means I'm going to be listing off all of my favorite products. This time, it's the Fit Curls' favorite things summer edition. I'm going to be sharing all of my absolute must-haves for hair and for beauty for summer 2021. So if you're excited for this, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's dive in. All right, let's get into this. Let's start out with my favorite shampoos and conditioners for summer. These are new and recent favorites that are probably going to be favorites year round, but as we're getting into summer, I am just discovering how much my hair absolutely adores these. So as a regular everyday shampoo, I cannot recommend anything more highly than Olaplex number four. This is a super gentle but effective cleansing shampoo. It has the creamiest lather of any shampoo I have ever used in my entire life. And it's from Olaplex. So you know it has their patented bond builder technology in it, which is used to help repair damage that happens to your hair just from existing in the world. Bond building is especially important during the summer because I feel like most of us wind up ramping up the amount of damage that we do to our hair for the summer season. Maybe you are a color addict like me and you decided to go blonder for the summer. There's Olaplex for that. Maybe you often go to the pool and you wind up with mineral damage or you have hard water so you see everything just getting kind of dingy and your hair seems to be breaking down. There's Olaplex for that. Plus, if you're out in the sun all the time, you get UV damage. There's Olaplex for that. So I love using the Olaplex number four as just my regular go-to shampoo, especially during the summer, for repair and also just the moisturizing beautifully lathering experience that cleanses without stripping my hair. To me, it's just, it's the perfect summer shampoo. On a regular basis, I will follow that up with Olaplex number eight. This is their moisture mask. It's their newest product. I talked about it in my post color routine after I got my highlights retouched up for the summer. And let me tell you, this stuff is so unique. It feels like it melts into your hair as you use it. Now, because I have fine but very thick hair, I wind up using about four pumps just to perfectly saturate all of my hair, but that's it. We're used to, as curly girls, having to take like, like a freaking soft serve machine at a self-serve froyo place and just like piling the conditioner on our hand. With the way that the number eight is formulated, you don't have to do that. It's very concentrated, so a little goes a long way, which means that even though it comes in a relatively small package, it will last you the majority of the summer. It's great if you need a little bit of an extra boost of moisture after getting out of the pool or coming in from spending lots of time outside. It is just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. And of course it's Olaplex, so you get the bond building benefits as well. It pairs really, really well with the Olaplex number four shampoo and even better if you use the number three as a treatment beforehand, which I always recommend because why not get the most bang for your treatment, right? Now, if you are somebody who is addicted to swimming in the summer, make sure you have a chelating shampoo on hand. What the heck is chelating? Well, you've got four different levels of cleansing. You've got co-washing at the bottom, which is the gentlest cleanse, a very moisturizing, completely or almost completely surfactant free cleanser, followed by what most of us would consider to be a shampoo or a low poo, a sulfate free or gentle sulfate cleanser. Then you've got your clarifying shampoos, which are a bump up from a regular shampoo and help to break up any buildup that you have left on your scalp or your hair from any products you've been using. And finally, chelating shampoo. This is the most clarifying cleanse you can get, and it helps to strip off mineral buildup, which is particularly helpful if you have hard water or if you are a swimmer. That chlorine from the pool 
can build up on your hair, it can cause blondes to turn dingy and green, and it can cause a lot of dehydration from the inside out by plugging your hair's cuticle so that no water or moisture can enter. That is a big problem. So what I recommend for that is just about anything from Malibu C. They are the authority on clarifying and chelating shampoos. The one that I have is their Hard Water Wellness Shampoo, but I also would recommend that you look into their treatments. They have some specifically for blondes, they have a hard water treatment, they have a swimmer's wellness treatment if you particularly are noticing chlorine buildup, and as a good all-purpose, very cleansing, clarifying, chelating kind of shampoo, I can recommend Malibu C's Undo Goo. It is a pH 9 shampoo, so it helps to lift your hair's cuticle just enough so that every bad particulate can come rushing out of your hair as it's rinsed out. Malibu C really is a fabulous, fabulous brand to look into for the summer months if you are a fan of hanging out in the pool. So check them out. With any chelating shampoo, make sure that you are following it up with a deep conditioner. That is a great place to use the Olaplex number no. 8 mask as well, or you can use any other deep conditioner that you have on hand. The number no. 8 just happens to be my absolute favorite for the summer. It's so lightweight, but it's so effective. All right, jumping into my post shower routine. During the summer, I tend to prefer a very lightweight leave in that is more hydrating than ultra moisturizing. This is because the humidity in the air is usually higher during the summer, so my hair naturally gets more moisture than it does during the dry winter months. As a result, if I use a heavier leave-in conditioner, I wind up getting over moisturized very quickly, which just leaves my curls and waves looking limp and soggy. So what I've been using and loving for this season is Evolve's Smart Curl Leave-In Conditioner. This is a super lightweight, almost watery leave-in conditioner which sounds like it wouldn't necessarily be worth your money, but let me tell you, let this stuff sit on your hair a little while after you shower and it will help you detangle like an absolute dream. This gives me just the right amount of hydration and slip before I style, allowing my hair to be detangled and a nice clean base for any of the stylers that I use afterwards. It is a fabulous product. And bonus, it's an environmentally friendly brand. Now I use a leave-in as just a prep product. I don't typically think of it as a styler. So I will often go in with two stylers afterwards. One for moisturizing and defining my curls and the other for creating hold. Getting that nice crunchy cast that helps set my curls exactly where I want them to be for longer lasting results. And the combination I have been completely obsessed with is from Curlsmith's Strength Line. I use their Featherlight Protein Cream as my definer and moisturizer, and then I follow it up with the Shape Up Aqua Gel. You guys have seen me talk about the Featherlight Protein Cream before in my Curl Smith Strength Line review that I did, but the Shape Up Gel is actually a newer product from them. They just came out with a whole bunch of new products in their Strength Line. And so far, I am completely enamored. The Shape Up Aqua Gel is a very runny gel that has protein a little higher than halfway down the ingredient list. It's fabulous if you have fine or ultra high porosity hair because it really does help to set your curls structure in place. And the combination of the two is very lightweight, so I get tons of volume. As a matter of fact, that's what I styled with this time around. I started by prepping with the Evolve Smart Curl Leave-In Conditioner, and I followed it up with those two Curlsmith products, and I have been loving how this combination makes my hair look and feel. I get exactly the right combination of definition, volume, and lasting hold. Now, if you want to be out the door a lot faster than a multi-step routine is going to get you there, I have a fabulous recommendation for a one and done styler for you, and that is Eco Slay Orange Marmalade. I have talked about and raved about this many a time before, but I'm going to do it again. Orange Marmalade is one of those products that kind of has an identity crisis, and it actually works out in your favor. It is a flaxseed gel and aloe based curl definer that acts as a hybrid between a cream and a gel so it gives you fabulous moisture and slip as well as really lovely medium weight hold. It is a 
phenomenal product and I've had a ton of success using it as the one and only styler in my hair before. Sometimes I like to layer a harder hold gel over top of it just to add a little extra protein and hold. But aside from that, if you want to just find a product that works for almost every hair and curl type out there, you cannot do better than Eco Slay. As a bonus, you will be supporting a small black owned business out of Atlanta, Georgia. The creator and proprietor, Adria, is a phenomenal human being and she hand makes all of these products with so much care. It is a business that I absolutely love and products that are phenomenal, so you cannot go wrong. Now let's talk about my favorite method of refreshing my curls for the summer. Now if you've seen any of my previous refresh videos, you know that one of my favorite tools is steam. However, if you live in an environment that gets particularly humid during the summer, step away from the steamer. If humidity is why your curls are falling apart, humidity is not going to help bring them back together. Instead, the technique I have been loving is what came to popularity on Instagram as Marissa's Refresh by the absolutely stunningly gorgeous human being Marissa's Curls. What she suggests is taking a little bit of product with wet hands, emulsifying, and gently glazing or retouching individual curls over your style so that way you get maximum control with minimal additional frizz and damage. It is a fabulous way of going in and just helping to touch up any areas where your curls have fallen flat. The other method I would recommend, as opposed to using steam, if your hair is really beyond the use of a minimal refresh, would be my dry brush refresh, which I will link right up here so you can check out that video after you're done here. I often recommend for Marissa's Refresh using a product that you used on your original style. So I've been refreshing with either the Curlsmith Shape Up Aqua Gel or this fabulous product from Weida. This is their Advanced Climate Control Stronghold Gel. The part about this gel that was really interesting to me is that the second ingredient is glycerin. Now, if you know anything about humectant ingredients, glycerin is one of the top offenders for inviting too much moisture into our hair. But this gel pairs the glycerin with really intense cuticle sealing ingredients, particularly their blend of proteins that uses psoriasin, which is derived from silk. These do such a phenomenal job of plugging up the cuticle so that way you get enough moisture brought in when your hair is wet but the humidity is effectively blocked out. It is a fabulous product for refreshing or if you just need a stronger higher hold gel, it's a really good one to use. For my favorite hair hack for the summer. Oh yeah, we're going there. We're going into hack territory. I was inspired by Wavy Curly Alley on Instagram and TikTok when she started talking about scrunching out the crunch of your dry results with a foam. And my mind exploded. I was like, wait, what? You're using a styler, a hold styler to scrunch out the crunch from your hold styler? But then the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to experiment. But the foams that I had on hand were all really high in humectants, which wasn't gonna help against humidity. And that's when the mad scientist came out. Allie mentioned that she had a friend who was using a gel to scrunch out the crunch. So I grabbed Old Faithful, the anti-humidity gel here, and I mixed about a nickel size amount of it with my favorite serum from Wella. This is their light luminous reflecting oil. About two pumps of this. I emulsified them together, and then I scrunched out the crunch like I normally would, starting out with praying hands, and then following it up with scrunching and reshaping as needed. The humidity has been skyrocketing here in western New York over the last couple of days, and let me tell you, my hair is holding up better on day two than I ever thought it possibly could. High porosity hair has a tendency to really invite in all that extra humidity, but this is doing such a fabulous job of sealing and softening my results all at once. So you can give this a try with any gel and any serum or oil that you have on hand. Check a small amount of them on the back of your hand first, just to make sure that they emulsify well without any clumping or flaking, and then give it a shot for yourself. Feel free to drop a comment down below letting me know how this hack goes for you because I'm pretty sure it has changed 
my entire summer curl. Now, of course, wearing your hair down every single day during the summer isn't necessarily a uh, feasible or wise thing to do. So if you want to throw your hair up and keep it off of your neck, there are a couple of accessories that I highly recommend for doing this. The first is a hair slinky. My preferred brand is Invisibobble. The design helps to latch into the curl pattern of your hair so that way you wrap it fewer times, cause fewer creases, and don't rip out any hairs when you take it out. It's a really fabulous design and it works fantastic, especially for curly hair. This is a really great tool to use if you know you're going into a super sweaty workout. I highly recommend putting your hair up with this. The other thing that I like to keep on me at all times during the summer, especially just having one sitting in my purse or on my wrist, is a silk scrunchie. These are going to cause minimal damage in your hair. They're super soft and slippery. They will often hold with just one or two loops. They're not gonna rip your hair out of your head. And they're super on trend right now. This one in particular is from Lily Silk. They sell them in very affordable multi-packs. You can get them in multiple different colors and different styles. They're a super fun accessory for summer, so I highly recommend having one of these on your person at all times during the summer so you can throw up your hair without causing any damage. Now let's move on from hair for a second and talk about my beauty favorites for summer 2021. The first thing that I have made sure to include every single day in my beauty routine, now that the weather is warmer and I'm spending a lot more time outside, is a good sunscreen. This one in particular has worked wonders on my skin. It is the Sun Balm Face 50. And let me explain why I love it quite so much. This sunscreen is non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog my pores, it is sensitive skin safe, and it lasts even in the water for up to 80 minutes. So you can take a longer time between reapplications if you just wanna be hanging out poolside with your friends. It is such an integral part of my beauty routine at this point. It feels lightweight, it doesn't leave a sticky or slippery residue. And if you would rather not use a chemically based sunscreen, they do have mineral sunscreens as well. Sunbum has a huge range of products available for UV protection throughout the warmer weather. So I highly recommend that you look into not only just their face sunscreen, but also their body products as well. And they even have UV protectants in their hair line. So let me know down below if you'd be interested in a review. Now the other thing I am absolutely loving for summer beauty is minimalistic makeup. Between having a dog that licks any and everything off of my face on a regular basis and spending a lot more time outside in hot or humid weather, the last thing I want is to have pounds of makeup just dripping and melting off of my face. That is one of the worst feelings in the entire world. So I have really been loving only using what makeup I feel like I need to enhance the features that I already have and love about myself. One of those things is a waterproof mascara. Now I was using the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is a phenomenal one, but it's a little on the pricey side. And then Sadie took it upon herself to use it as a snack. So I don't use that anymore. And I actually have been using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Waterproof Mascara. It is definitely affordable. It is less than $10. And it is a really great waterproof mascara. The other minimalist staple I have been leaning on is a cream blush. And for that, I go straight to probably a cult favorite, which is NARS 3-in-1 Cream Blush in Orgasm. This one, this blush in particular was recommended to me and the universe in general by Chloe from Frizz and Frills. And let me tell you that recommendation was so on point. This is a peachy pink shade with a little shimmer to it. It works so well on a variety of skin tones. And all I need is one to two swipes on each cheek, a little blend out with my fingers, and I am ready to go. It has simplified my getting ready routine so much and I just, I, I love how glowy and sun-kissed I feel whenever I use this product. And finally, I want to share with you guys a brand that I kind of discovered out of the blue that I didn't even know existed and has honestly changed my entire makeup routine possibly forever and that is Merit Beauty. Merit's whole philosophy on makeup is less is more. 
and that is so in line with everything that I want for the summer. Their entire line is what they call their five minute face. And the four products in particular that I have just been loving from their collection are their Brow 1980, which is a colored brow gel. It swipes on nice and easy. The blonde shade that is the one that I use and it matches my light ass brows really perfectly. It's very easy to fill them in, make them look a little fluffier without feeling like you're gonna get that colored brow gel like everywhere all over your face. Nice, simple, one and done kind of brow routine. I will say the pen confused me a little bit at first because I was fully expecting the long side to be the one with the color in it. And then I screwed it open and I was like, oh no, that's the side that I hold, okay. That's no indifferent, but it actually makes it a lot easier to use the gel on my eyebrows because you have a little bit more maneuverability with the wand. They also have a stick foundation that I have been loving because it's really easy to spot foundation with. Instead of feeling like I have to slather a product all over my face, I get to just pick exactly where I want to place it, like under my eyes, near my nose where my face tends to get a little bit redder on any blemishes I have, and just buff it in with a brush. The shade I am using in that product is Silk, which is the pale with neutral undertone. And I was very pleasantly surprised at how well this shade really does match my complexion. They have a decently wide range. If you're on a deeper, darker end, I would be very interested to see what you think of their shade selection. So if you are a black or brown person and you have used Merit, let me know down below what you think of their line. One of the lip products that I have been using very regularly is Merit's Shade Slick. This is in their shade O Naturel. This is the least sticky lip gloss I have ever used in my entire life. It glides on like an absolute dream. Your lips don't stick together if your hair doesn't stick to your lips. It is a total winner for summer if you want a little bit more uh, of a juicy, glossy look to your lips. And it comes in a wide variety of shades, I just happened to pick the Eau Naturel because I wanted something that I could throw on for very much an everyday kind of look. And finally, what might actually be my favorite product of Merit's is their Day Glow Highlighting Balm. It is a stick highlighter that gives the most luscious, glowing, lit from within look. And all you have to do is swipe it on your face. Now this does come in a very limited range of shades. As far as I know, there's only two shades. But it works really well because the shade that I have, Kava, works very well for lighter skin tones and their other shade is tailored more towards a deeper skin tone and has a little bit more of a bronzy quality to it. They're both freaking stunning and they glide on and blend in super, super smooth. I love the way that this just gives my skin the most luscious, dewy appearance without making me look um, sweaty. I've had enough of that in my life. This is the right amount of dew. Now, of course, my real favorite thing for the summer of 2021 is the COVID-19 vaccine. So if there are appointments available in your area and you are able to be vaccinated and have not gone in for your shots yet, do it. Let's make it possible for us to actually have a good summer this year. We deserve it after the rough, year that 2020 was. I for one want to know that I can see as many of my friends as possible for my summer birthday this year because 30 was a bit of a travesty so I want 31 to be better. So just make sure that you are doing your best, you are being safe, you are wearing a mask if you are unvaccinated and you are taking your proper precautions to make sure that we can have an excellent safe fun summer. So with that, that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. What did you think? Go ahead and drop a comment down below with any of your thoughts, opinions, and impressions, and any of your favorite products for this summer, be they for curly hair or just in general. Now, all the products that I talked about today are going to be linked down in the description box below. Any affiliate codes or links are going to be clearly marked. Those are the ones that I get a small kickback from, and if you're uncomfortable with that, do not worry about it. They are there for your convenience, and they do help to support the channel. 
but you are under absolutely no obligation to shop using my links. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more favorite things compilations like it, hit this with a thumbs up. Not only does it help to support the channel and push this video forward in the algorithm, but it also gives me an idea of the kind of content that you guys want to see on this channel so I can make the fit curls the best fit for you. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you don't miss a single video from the Fit Curls. And don't forget to join the Fit Curls family all across social media. I spend the most time on Instagram and TikTok and the content I post there is completely different than what you're going to see on YouTube. So make sure you're not missing a thing and join the family. With that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and continuing to support the Fit Curls. Love your curls, love each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye.